One of the best things about making a small program like the Caravan Channel is the interesting stuff that you come across. Now we're here in Birmingham where we're filming at Paul Grassett's company Caravan and looking at a reupholstery job on an RV. But right behind him, in fact in the same buildings, we've discovered a company that deals with these. They import original VW campers from the States rebuild them, reconvert them where necessary, bring them up to modern standards, but actually don't change them. They're a proper restoration outfit. And we're going to have a look at what they do as well. This is Brookside VW Air Cooled, run by a pair of Brummy twin brothers whose VWs are their lives. They say that looking around the workshop is rather like a religious experience for VW fans, with little treasures turning up in very unexpected corners. We spoke to one of the twins, Simon Jenkins, about their business. We've been doing VW campers now for about 10 years. Right. Um, we drifted into these, we were doing boring car repairs before, mm -hmm. never again. I have more fun doing this kind of work than anything else and more fun driving a broken down, dilapidated VW than an Audi TT. I have a contact in the United States. He sends me nice photos through of the buses. There are a few of them out there. Some are really bad, some not so bad, and we pick the best ones that we feel we can restore to a high standard. It's great fun. We drive down to the docks to pick these vehicles up. It's all part of the, of the recreational day out, mm -hmm. and it's a rewarding day at the end of it. I spend hours and hours, months on some of these vehicles. We cut them about, cut out all the rotten metal and put all new material in, new metal in, and then they're sprayed, oven sprayed in a booth, and they come back to us, and then the best part is fitting them up and putting them all back together, and that's the enjoyable part, and driving them as well, which is fantastic. The order books are pretty full. In fact, they are full. Um, I cannot get these vehicles produced quick enough for customers who are from all walks of life, and I meet some fabulous people. When is your next available date for a new order? Next year, next year. at least March, April, easily. Um, I'm booked up till then easily. We cannot get them done quick enough. Early camper vans like the one behind me here, 1968, they're very desirable, very rare. If they've got a pop-top roof on, it makes them even more expensive and some accessories on them, like pop-out louvered windows, things like that. They're £12,000 restored on the road, perhaps a little bit more depending on rarity. When you look at split-screen campers, which is a lot of those we import, they're 16000 £16, upwards, and if they want extras on, such as... Uh, art deco interiors whatever you can put more on the price very easily most engines are taken apart uh, mostly rebuilt and fully reserviced uh, everything's new on the engine and the gearbox as well the brake systems have gone through on every vehicle it's given a thorough check over a good road test and they're delivered or to the customer or they mostly come and pick them up because it's a historic vehicle, over 25 years old, I walk out the post office with a big grin on my face. Uh, free 12 months tax, sir. Thank you very much. We do the early type 1, the type 2 bay windows. And we're doing a T25 as well, and we're looking at T4s and T5s. There is a market for them, despite them being a modern vehicle. People do like the retro-style vehicles of the 60s and 70s. In Brazil, yeah. I believe they're still making them and they're converting them to right-hand drive for the UK market. Right. Not quite the same as the 70s bus, I feel, but I'm a bit of a purist. I still love them anyway.